Hi there, welcome to this uh, third episode of Drawing with Donna Pierre. So for today's video I want to talk about how I see my channel so far. I know this is only the third episode, but uh, I think this is important uh, since I'm at the first steps of my channel. And uh, the drawing today is going to be a lighthouse. I know in the last episode I said a tower, but I've mistaken the name of it. So let's take a look at the picture. So this lighthouse uh, comes from Greece. Its name is uh, Tourlitzi. <laughs> so this name, uh, I can't believe it. It sounds like a sorcerer's name in a kid TV show like, Hey there, Mr. Tourlitzi. <laughs> the, <laughs> the name is pretty weird, but the scene is pretty good looking. There is a rock standing out of the sea and they built the tower onto it which is a uh, pretty unique uh, and it has something badass to it like I could picture this lighthouse in a movie or in a video game uh, I remember this uh, Zelda which was called uh, Zelda the Wind Waker where there was uh, many islands and on each one of them there was a unique property and each one of them was kind of charming uh, so this is what I'm drawing today uh, so I've said I wanted to talk about my channel because uh, I believe it's a necessity as a new youtuber to look at what my video looks like so it can grow quickly uh, when you build something it is always important to set the basis correctly because this is what the viewer is gonna see first and if my content is poor they're not gonna bother looking at the newest videos like there is enough channel on YouTube for the viewers to go away and I could uh, I could just have these reflections on my side and keep it for myself but what I like the most about the YouTubers is when they are transparent and they mention to their followers uh, what are their ideals this way uh, this way it creates a relationship with the followers uh, which are going to be able to leave uh, more relevant comments uh, directly linked to the YouTubers ideology it's always more fun like when you know where this is going so uh, I'm gonna talk first about uh, what what was my original idea. At first I wanted to make a, a one hour long video, but I realized that when I'm drawing, uh, I'm not uh, I, I'm too focused on my drawing and I'm I don't speak and it's hard for me like to speak, especially for a one hour long and uh, in my second language like English is not my first language. So I'm not very confident to do that. Um, so I decided that I would uh, record the audio afterward. Another thing I wanted to talk about is the video process, uh, how I record my video. So I put it in my camera on a, a homemade uh, tripod. Like I, I made a stand for my camera. Uh, it's not a tripod, it's a stand. Uh, which my camera, camera can be fixed on it and this way I can give the angle and uh, then you see the drawing and uh, there was uh, some uh, mistake uh, there that I noticed like at first I, I, I was uh, I always put my head in front of the camera and this is kind of annoying like you you don't see what I'm drawing so I have to, to cut this out on the making of uh, the video uh, so sometimes you may notice uh, some jumps. This is uh, one of the reason why. Another thing I was doing uh, was uh, I kept uh, turning around my drawing book, and this uh, when 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 I decided to put my video on fast forward, like uh, this was uh, super annoying. Like it it was giving me a headache <laughs> just while I edited the video. So I cut them. I cut this all out. So this is another thing that uh, would. Uh, create the uh, jumps uh, in the timeline and another thing I noticed when I when I'm doing this is that um, my camera is running out of batteries often so this is uh, another reason why I don't want to to make a one hour long video anymore like uh, I, I'm speaking and then I'm not conscious of the time and then uh, I realize my camera is uh, turned off because the battery run off so uh, what happened there is that I don't know what I was talking about anymore and I, I don't want to speak anymore while in front of the camera. Uh, so this is pretty much about the video process. But uh, otherwise it's pretty, it's pretty okay, like it's kind of easy, I just put my camera there, 
I have to pay attention to not put my head in front of the camera and keep my my drawing book uh, always on the same side. It's a little bit harder for me to draw, but it, it's it's better for the viewer to look at my at me drawing. And then there's the audio process where I go uh, in a quiet room and I just speak to uh, my cell phone. Uh, I take a I take more than uh, two takes. It's hard for me like to to record the audio because um, I'm not I'm not good with my English and I'm kind of uh, stressful. Uh, I'm someone who's very very stressed and when I speak like you can hear me having like heavy breathing and I'm uh, I'm looking for my words or so I'm always saying uh, 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 it's super annoying. Luckily, I can uh, erase that on the my software. I can erase all the, the annoying things I do, I can reduce the breathing, I can uh, remove some word that I don't like. When I mistake in my sentences, I can just uh, erase them. Oh, of course, I have to, to make a good recording of what I do, otherwise I have to record back what I'm saying. Like uh, English is my second language, sometime when I speak, uh, I'm looking for my word. And you, you, you may have noticed already, like I, I put some word in the, the bottom of the video when I, when I mistaken something. This is mostly for me. It's for me to remember my mistakes and try to avoid them next time. And that's pretty much for the audio process. And then I mix this all together for the video. And and now what I actually, what I'm actually doing, is uh, that I, I reduce the video to a five minute long. When I say five minute long, it's the, the drawing process, like uh, I'm not counting the intro and the outro of the video. I put this uh, around five, six minutes. And the reason why I do this is because I, be I can't do long speech in English. It's like, it's too hard for me because of the, n the nervosity. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna start uh, my video with five minute longs so the, by the time I, I get more confident and then when when I'm gonna be better like uh, I'm hoping for my video to to reach a 20 minute longs so this way I'm gonna be able to talk more about the deep subject uh, and what, what, what I want to talk about is mostly a uh, human behavior and uh, psychology and this way I could turn this uh, this I could turn this video into a podcast like my subject could be separate from my video and it would still be interesting, I hope so. And then I could upload it to iTunes and Spotify. So this is pretty much my goal. I want to make a video of the 20 minute longs where, where I talk about uh, subjects that uh, reaches me and I hope, uh, I hope it's gonna speak to you and that it's gonna help uh, for, uh, for humanity. For the sake of humanity, <laughs> I want to speak the language of God. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding there. <laughs> but I have like this vision of my reality and I want to tell it to people. How I see like my philosophy, I want to talk about it. So this is pretty much what I wanted to do. So let me recap about what I want to do. Because uh, I, I think I'm all over the place uh, there. Um, so in the end, what I want to do is, uh, that's pretty much it. Like, I just want to make a 20 minute long video where I speak about subject that touches me and where I could possibly make podcasts out of this. And for the the YouTube video, this is like, a, it's a promotion for my drawings. I hope to get better at, at drawing and I want people to know that uh, this exists and that they could buy uh, my drawing and that's pretty much it uh, i guess for the future uh, my everything's gonna be everything's gonna fall into place and uh, for my drawing today this is uh, what the final result looks like uh, i think it's pretty cute i like i like this drawing uh, this tower is a pretty beautiful scene i hope you like it as well and uh, we're gonna see you in the next video. All right, bye-bye.